Uh, hello everyone, I just want to show you how to incorporate the dynamic inline quick view into your existing design. So I have this design. This is the original design. It's not accessible. You can't escape. Uh, you can't even go in and tap through the list of these uh, team members. I want to incorporate this dynamic uh, inline quick view. I think it really works well for this type of uh, grid layout. So now this is my design that I have redone. I'm going to copy this because what we're pasting most likely wouldn't be part of the design. We just want to move things around. So I'm going to paste that paste at the very bottom. As you can see, all this, nothing exists and all. But what I want to do is, <clears throat> I'm going to go here. Now, this is the grid container. I just want to move the classes. So uh, I'm going to just copy this class. And then I want to take it to grid parent. Okay. Now, this grid parent has uh, its own grid settings. So what I'm going to do is when I paste this, uh, I'm just going to do away with, I just need only the class. I'm going to do away with all the stuff. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this page container. The page container is supposed to be a sibling to the grid, the grid items. So I'm going to move the page container next item to my, you know, to this grid. So it's not visible. It's not going to be visible. It has to be sibling to this grid um, item and these are my grid cards okay so the grid card what i really need is a uh, quick view button inside this card okay i'm going to open that and move the quick view button inside right that's supposed to be but then we're going to do it in such a way that it doesn't show up later on then um, the grid card i need to copy so i'm going to copy that class and I'm going to paste so what do we have here really no settings here that see we really don't need any of this so I'm going to take away all the styling then uh, this grid, uh, quick view grid uh, we had this styling here actually so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the grid auto flow which is a, the main thing that we need Gonna just remove. Now, unfortunately, in this uh, install, I don't have the permission to execute code, which problem. So, what I might do is, might move this code, to, might move, move it to WP code box. <clears throat> but one thing I want to point out is that we need this quick view source, quick view grid source. So, I'm just gonna save. And I'm just gonna go to the create a page quick view grid grid source. Uh, let's see. I just I don't want to have to change quick view is one word. I'm gonna publish this and what I did in bricks. Yeah. So I want to design this. I'm gonna go to the quick view grid source. Uh, so let me just open that quick view grid source. I want to go there and just copy now all this also comes with a template so just copy it and then modify it so that's what i'm going to do. okay so this is this is a demo this is actually what i need copy this uh for this page i'm gonna to go to the page settings i don't need the header and the footer and Okay, so this is the content wrap. So everything is going to be inside the content app. Bless your content. I'm going to save this. Uh, <clears throat> there's a query loop going on here. So it's a, by default, it is post, but I'm going to set it to be team. I'm going to go back here and look at that design. So we have, you know, like uh, 40, 60% of going on here. I'm going to just make that it read
save this and then we're going to go to the front end see what happens okay so what i basically did is just to fine tune the file Uh, how about responsiveness? So what we need to do is just to responsiveness. So you can see that uh, mobile breakpoint switch. 